What's up guys, welcome to the channel. Today I'm here with a video bringing you 25 features of the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. Now there's a ton of features here on this Note 2, I can't bring all of them to you. If you guys want to see another 25 features on another separate video, please give this video a thumbs up and let me know. So let's jump right off into it. Feature number one, one-handed keyboard. Now, a lot of people think that the Note 2 is too big, especially our keyboard. And let's go ahead and go into our settings. You can see I have the standard keyboard here. And we'll go ahead and toggle through our settings and find one-handed operation. Let's go ahead and click Samsung Keyboard. And now you can see we have a right-handed usable keyboard. Now, if you're a left-handed user, all you do is push the left arrow. Once again, push the right arrow for right-handed use, left arrow for left-handed use. Now if we return to settings and uncheck the Samsung keyboard, we can see that it returns to the standard style keyboard. Next up, feature number two is squeeze out emails from drop down notification tab. This is very useful when checking how important an email is and how fast you need to respond to it. You can see here you can also swipe to the right to get rid of the notification. Next up, feature number three is Google Now. And Google Now right now is killing Siri and killing S Voice. Now to access Google Now from the Note 2, all you need to do is hold down on the menu button and you will be directed to Google Now. You can see here we have Discover Google Now. We also have Leaving Before Work, which is a feature that's going to give you information about traffic. And we also have Flight Information. Google takes the information that you're requesting and displays it in a card type index. So let's go ahead and give it a try. When is the Super Bowl in 2013? And you can see Google now has displayed our information and the answer is the NFL Super Bowl is on Sunday, February 3rd in 2013. Next up, feature number four is multitasking. The Note 2 is awesome at multitasking. We see here we can pinch in and go to any page that we want. We can also browse our applications that we have previously opened. You can see here to eliminate or close one of the applications that we have open. All we need to do is swipe them to the right or the left. Next up is feature number five, and that is battery life. Now the Note 2 has a 3100 milliamp battery, and that is one of the biggest batteries that is available for a smartphone. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what that adds up to in everyday use. You can see here I have tried my hardest to drain the battery here, and it is absolutely hard to drain the battery. I must say I get two full days of a charge, which is more than acceptable. Next up, number six is a speaker. Now the Note 2 has a single speaker on the back, but I must say it is louder than the iPhone 5 speaker as well as the Galaxy S3 speaker, resulting in some very nice all-around acoustics. Next up, number seven is pop-up browser, and this is one of the best features here on the Note 2. So let's say I'm taking a look at an email, and I want to check out something on the web. All I do is hit the pop-up browser menu. What that's going to do is bring up a whole other internet browsing window. Now I can respond to my email as well as watch a video that I have been wanting to watch here on YouTube. Now this just happens to be the unboxing of the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. Next, number eight, screenshot. To take a screenshot, all you need to do is swipe your hand over the front of the screen of the Note 2. And you will take a screenshot. It will be added to a clipboard and is easily accessible. Next up is number nine, and that is widgets. Now I'm coming from an iPhone and I'm an iOS user. So this is my first time actually playing with some widgets without having to jailbreak the device. And I must say, the ease of being able to just move one of these widgets over to my home screen or any screen is definitely something that I'm enjoying here on the Note 2. Next up is number 10, and it is the S Pen. Now, the S Pen has tons of features, but I'm going to go over just a couple of them with you. Now, here we have the S Pen pulled out that does bring up a couple of template options. It brings up here an actual notepad, and we can hover over here and see some of our different uh, objects and different things that we are able to do here. Now we have productivity tools, which is one of the most important items that I want you to pay attention to here. Now we'll go ahead and go back to it here in a second, but let's go ahead and keep continuing to hover over these items. That way you can see uh, more or less what they have to offer. Let's go ahead and go into productivity tools now. And you can see we have shape match, formula match, and handwriting recognition. Let's go ahead and do the handwriting recognition. What this is going to do is anything that I write, it's going to actually transform it into text on my notepad. So let's go ahead and put a couple words here. And you can see here that I need to space them out myself manually. Now this, in my opinion, is a very useful feature. I love to not have to type and just be able to pull out the S Pen and write the note that I want to send or the text message and send it very easily. 
Next up is number 11, and the fact that the Note 2 has multiple app stores is definitely a benefit and a bonus. We have the Amazon App Store as well as the Google Play Store, so that is once again a definite bonus, and more applications the better. Next, number 12, Quick Command. To initiate Quick Command, hold down the button on the S Pen and swipe up on the home screen. Now you can see here that we are brought to Quick Command. All we need to do here is enter a numeral or some type of character and we will be brought to uh, the display menu. Now you can see here I entered a question mark and what that does is takes me to Google. Let's go ahead now and enter our own specific uh, gesture and mark that we want to add. So let's go ahead and put uh, select an application. And just for the sake of the demonstration here on this video, we'll go ahead and pick Facebook. And after picking Facebook, now we need to do is just put a actual letter in here that's going to recognize the application. So now I have put F to initiate Facebook. So now we'll swipe up again with our S Pen. Here we're in the quick command mode and I'll just draw in an F. Once I draw an F, now you can see that the Note 2 is automatically opening Facebook. Next up, number 13 is Smart Stay. Now to initiate Smart Stay, all we need to do is jump through our settings. We'll go ahead and tap on Display, toggle through down towards the middle, and check the box that says Smart Stay. Now what this feature does is detect that you're looking at the phone and does not shut the phone off in time out. Next up, number 14, and that is expandable memory and LED notifications. We can't get 64 gigabytes of expandable memory, and being notified of messages by LED is a nice touch. Next, number 15 is multi-window, and what this does is allows you to pull in another application while you're viewing an application. So for instance, here I'm viewing an email, and I want to bring in, uh, let's say, a message. So let's go ahead and hold down messaging and bring that in at the bottom. And you can see here now I have two windows open, and now I can uh, maneuver this as well as hit the triangle at the top to bring one completely open, just like so. Next, number 16, zoom by tilting. Now here we can see we're on our web page. We put two fingers on the screen and we can pan the phone here and tilt the phone and that's going to bring our zoom in and out. Number 17, tablet view of email. Now in my opinion, any way I can see more of my emails, the better. You can see here we have a very nice tablet view here on the Note 2 of our emails. Next, number 18, is our various picture gallery styles. Our first orientation is grid style. Now we're here in more of a fan looking style here, which is very nice. And we also have a circular 360 degree rotating effect, which makes it extremely easy to access any of your pictures or videos. Number 19, air view. Now to access air view, all we need to do is pull out the S Pen and hover over an item, which allows us to view inside of a folder without actually opening it. Next, feature number 20, and that is the 5.5 HD Super AMOLED display. I originally thought that this phone was going to be too big, but after using it for a while and then returning back to my iPhone 5, I would have to say that I do very much enjoy the real estate that's offered up here on the Note 2. And I've actually begun to think the opposite, that this phone is not too big, but that other phones are just too small. Next up is number 21, and it is performance. Now the Note 2 is not a slacker when it comes to performance. We're going to get 2 gigabytes of RAM and a 1.6 gigahertz Exynos quad-core processor, which in my opinion is blazing fast when it comes to any application and anything you try to put it through. Next, number 22, that is gaming. Now, gaming on the Note 2 is absolutely awesome. The 5.5-inch display allows perfect room for your fingers while still allowing you to view everything perfectly clear on the Note 2 itself. Let's go ahead and take a look now at some actual frame rates here. We can see that everything does look very nice. Nothing's choppy. There is no lag. We're not receiving any kind of fragmentation here between frame rates. With a 1.6 gigahertz quad-core processor and 2 gigabytes of RAM, the Note 2 is able to handle any game that you throw at it. Next, 23, full screen and crop screen capture. Now, there's two ways to capture a screenshot here. We can hold down the S Pen button, and the screenshot will be captured and saved to your clipboard. Now, you can see here now we can actually write on the screenshot and put whatever we want. Now you can see here I put my favorite or my fave for short with the arrow towards Instagram. Now we can also capture a cropped screenshot. Now what we're gonna need to do here is hold down the S Pen button and circle the actual part we want to crop. Now we can see here we can enter it into a email or into a MMS message. Next up, number 24, double tap screen anytime to get the S Note feature. Now all we need to do is hold down the S Pen button and double tap on the screen. Now you can see here that the S Note is pulled up anywhere, anytime that we do this on the phone. 
Now this comes in extremely handy if you remembered something on your grocery list or just want to jot down a quick idea. Number 25, burst shot. Hit that thumbs up button for making it to the last one. Now you can see here, burst shot, we can take one quick shot of any object or we can go into our settings here, go into burst shot, hit on, and now what we can do is take up to 20 shots at once and then figure out which shot was the best taken. You can see here I just took 16 shots in a matter of seconds. Now I'll go back and pick the best one. Anyways guys, that's going to wrap it up for me. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and enjoyed the content. This has been 25 features of the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. If you guys are interested in seeing another video of 25 more features, let me know by hitting that thumbs up button and leaving a comment down in the comment section. Now there's tons of features here on the Note 2 and I couldn't touch basis on all of them today. But let me know out of the ones that I did show you which feature you found to be the best. Be sure to check out my full review of the Samsung Galaxy Note 2. I'll drop a link down in the description. And also be sure to enter the Samsung Galaxy Note 2 giveaway. The link will be down in the description as well. Thank you guys for watching. I appreciate your viewership and I'll see you on the next one.